Hello students. In the previous session, we have seen the way of representing discrete time sequence and DFT and FFT algorithms in brief. In to today's session, we'll see the way of defining an LTI system and its characteristics. So what is linear time invariant system? So as the name itself indicates, the system should be a linear and it should be a time invariant as well. So such systems are known as linear time invariant system or in general you can say a system which satisfies superposition theorem is known as a linear system <coughs> and a system that has same input output relationship at all times is called a time invariant system and the system which satisfies both the properties are called LTI system. So what do you mean by linear? Suppose if you have two different sequences say x1 of n and x2 of n and its corresponding outputs are y1 of n and y2 of n. Now if I combine those inputs x of x1 of n and x2 of n and use it as an input to a same system the output should be y1 of n plus y2 of n it should be a combination of individual responses so such systems are known as linear systems now what about time invariant system suppose if i shift an input x of n by some amount which should produce same amount of shift at the output as well such uh, systems are known as time invariant system and the system which satisfies both the properties of linear and time invariance are known as line linear time invariant systems so system will have input say x of n and output y of n and characteristics of a system as represented by a variable h of n where h of n is nothing known as impulse response of the systems so what do you mean by impulse response impulse response means here the input will be the impulse function that is delta of n so output of such system with input delta of n is known as h of n impulse response of the system So the linear time invariant system should have two parameters. Okay. So the LTI system can be represented through these equations that is y of n equal to h of n star x of n. Star represents convolution. Star represents convolution whose expression is given by summation m equal to minus infinity to infinity h of n into x of n minus m. You can also represent it, you can exchange these two terms to get one more expression that is summation m equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n h of n minus m. So, the rela this relationship between the output y of n and the input x of n is known as convolution. So any system, any linear time invariant system can be represented through two parameters. First parameter is that is in time domain known as h of n impulse response and the other one is known as system function. It is the z transform of the impulse function h of z it is in a frequency domain so these two parameters will characterize any system so to find h of z the system function we need to know the z transform equation what is the, what is the z transform equation so it will convert the time domain sequence that is x of n into frequency domain sequence x of z using the expression summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 
x of n into z power minus n. So if you have any output sequence that is y of n and input sequence x of n you can find y of z that is the z transform of the output sequence and x of z z transform of the input sequence using those two expressions you can find the system function that is h of z using this expression that is y of z divided by x of z that is the ratio of z transform of the output to the z transform of the input so using these two parameters that is h of n and h of z you can characterize any systems so we have seen the definition of an lti system and its characteristics in terms of impulse response and system function in the next session we'll see its computational errors which occurs in dsp algorithms thank you happy learning Thank you.